Okay, Retro Mag, uh, Retro Mag fan here, and today this is an update video, but I just want to show a few of the um, DVDs that I didn't didn't, didn't show you in um, I didn't do an update on some of these um, DVDs, so I just want to show them to you. I mean, it's not an update. I've already bought these, so just want to show you them. Well, anyway, let's get started. I'm going to start off with four entertainment video releases, entertainment in video DVDs. First one is um. One chance, and um, basically, one chance being apparently the next Billy Elliot from um, Daily Mail, but apparently Psycho is you know getting into um, making other stuff than just Brins Got Talent. I mean, they've made them um, the Harry Hill musical, um, I can't sing, and that utter shite One Direction film. I'd say that as utter bollocks, but. But I, for One Direction fans will probably get mad at me for saying that, but never mind. Next up is a um, another one musical sort of thing, um, Sunshine on Leaf. At first I thought it was Sunshine on Left, but it's Sunshine on Leaf. Another recent release that I got. Looks, it does look to be very good. And I've, I, I haven't seen any of these films yet, so um. I will tell you that I've not seen any of these films yet, and I've never gotten around to seeing a, a mo most of me films yet, so um, I'm trying to um trying to watch some of mine. Um, Lord of the Rings, the um two towers. Of course, I ain't watch. I ain't watching this for a long time until I get the entire Lord of the Rings films. In fact, I got this one for Poundland, and that w it was the only um Lord of the Rings film they had. They didn't have um the Return of the King. The f the first one was only the two towers, and that's it. And um. Got this one is Before You Go, um, Lewis Gilbert film, obviously, comedy film, in which he directed <laughs> Educating Rita. And there's a re release because the new 15 certificate and the old one, the disc. And next on to the Matrix films, um, I'm just gonna start with this one first, um, The Matrix, which I got on some game show for just um, a pound of thing, not quite sure. Yeah, the Matrix. I mean, also not seen it yet, but Toe Film says it's the action movie, the Millennium. There we are. And they also have the Matrix Revisited, which basically just takes a look at how they've made the film, as well as looking at the uh, two other sequels, Reloaded and Revolutions, as well as the Animatrix. Oh, can't get the fucking place closed. There we are. The uh, next one is Matrix Evolutions, or probably the shittest out of the Matrix trilogy, um, obviously due to many critics, except The Sun, which apparently calls it fitting climax. I'm sure that many people will probably disagree with them. Two discs. For some reason they didn't give it and give them the first one two disc edition, and I just don't know why. It's basically just a sequels. Next up is... Um, Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. It's not Christmas, just but I just bought it because um, it was in a charity shop. Again, another re-release. With the original release inside. The next one is um, Razzle Dazzle, an Australian film. Um, obviously, it was just in a charity shop laying around, so I just bought it. I mean, Aussie comedy can be quite good. Another one I found in the charity shop is Life is Beautiful, of course. An Italian film. Best best thing about this is that you can even watch it in its original Italian version. Um, something that Miramax don't oof, normally do their releases. And then finally, this one I got in Poundland. Taxi. The original Taxi. Of course, the um, normal Taxi. The French... Taxi film, um, Prism Ledger release from Metrodome. I've not seen this one before, but I will say I have seen the American version, and that was shit. That the American version was utter bollocks. I'll tell you that it was dreadful. So hopefully this will.